first, first movie. Not my first professional job, but uh, close to it. Um, I was uh, entered in the, in the Miss America pageant, the last thing I ever thought that I would be associated with at the time. It was all I knew about the Miss America pageant was, it was a, I thought, a bathing beauty contest. That was it. And I was so far from being a bathing beauty and <laughs> far from being a beauty and, you know, I, uh, well, anyway. <laughs> much to everyone's surprise in, the, in my family, my friends, and me, uh, I, I won. And uh, started, on a, I had a year of, of touring the, the, the United States. It was the first year it was televised. So that's when it really became uh, something that people saw, part of, participated in, they felt a part of of my life kind of thing. While I was Miss America, I was asked to be on the Philco Television Playhouse, which was at that time toward the end of the golden age of television here in the States. It was um, live television, hour long, timed to the second, and hair raising, and yet I took to it. Oh, Linda. Oh, I haven't had time to change it. Give me five minutes. Hello, Tony. Oh, hello. Don't look so startled. I'm the good fairy who passed you through the gate. In that case, hello again. And goodbye if I'm going to get changed. I'll miss you. Not for long. We're having dinner together. I didn't audition for this movie. I don't understand how I got it. I always wanted to ask someone, <laughs> and I never, I never did. I never I said, how did I get the part? I have no memory of, of reading for the part, so I... I'm pretty sure they just offered it to me. It was not an easy relationship for me to relate to. When are you going to tell him? I was newly married, and I was very naive. Well, I had a big V for virgin on my forehead, everybody said. It was just kind of obvious. Why, Scott, what is it? To, to adjust to two men, Attracted, not attracted, attracted, not attracted, you know, at the same time in a film was something that I had never experienced, ever. Oh, Scott, don't tell me that your brother has a deep, dark, secret past. Come on, tell me. Who was I didn't find it damaging or, or uh, horrible, but I felt that I didn't do a good job because I, I saw the film oh heavens i don't know how many years ago and i thought oh i wish i could play the couple of scenes over now with what i know about relationships and people and and uh, lives and life itself and i because i was i was very green very green <laughs> Uh, the carousel scene and the, um, the hitting with the towel and flirting that way and, and just seemed a little bit overboard <laughs> to me at the time. I, I saw it through um, older eyes. At the end, when I realize that Bob Lansing, the star, uh, has turns around and closes the door, which means that he's no longer in the fourth dimension. His hand would have gone through the door, or, you know. So, and he comes at me, and I was going to threaten him with the gun, but no one sees that. No one sees that, and and then he kisses me. As he pulled away from me, <laughs> saliva, saliva from my mouth to his, or his to mine, I don't know which. Uh, he, he didn't want to lay claim to it, and I didn't want to lay claim to it. <laughs> and uh, uh, it, it's there on, on film, and they left it <laughs> in. Nothing can stop me, I might be fine. Let Rick feel nothing. Not even talking there, there wasn't a hotel. We were out in, in Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. And back then, there was some kind of school that they were using as a central area 
for us to kind of congregate and we would have meals. Ooh, home cooking, that's what I like about it. I remember the fellow who was cooking, <laughs> I had forgotten this, just get me. Um, he, I think, had, um, shall we say, a drinking problem and um, didn't show up to cook <laughs> one time. And uh, uh, Bob and I ended up cooking spaghetti because that was the only thing that anybody had in their house. <laughs> it's, it was a very small crew, you know, it, uh, um, and uh, there were only, at that time, I think only three or four actors. They even used our makeup man as the doctor. Yes. What is it? And you've got to help me. Dean Newman uh, was uh, a makeup artist. And they used him as uh, the doctor for, for Robert. He goes to, uh, and he ends up killing him. Somewhere along the line, they, maybe it was Bob who told me, Bob Lansing, uh, that it was, they had been making uh, uh, Christian films and needed money. And so where else to make money but with science fiction movies? That's, and then Blob definitely was major science fiction. And Fort Man was science fiction as well. Just a little less than, you know, the, 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 the monster was a human being. <laughs> and, and only when he needed to kill <laughs> to live. <laughs> Very involved script. <laughs> I remember when I arrived, I was going to be staying in a home a uh, private home, and it was the director's home. And I, I, I uh, well, I, I, I was a little nervous about it. And then they, they realized my reticence, and they said, they said oh, you know, his wife and his, his daughter, and you know, they, they're there. And I said, oh, you know, that's very nice, that's very nice. And he, he introduced himself, because I, I went, Mr. Yeaworth, you know, how, how do you do? And he said, no, 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 that's Shorty. Mr. Shorty? He said, he said, no, 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 Shorty's my nickname. I said, I said, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, all right, yes. Oh. And I call you Shorty? And he, I said, you're not short. <laughs> Jack and I went on a, a, um, a tour f uh, promoting the film. <laughs> Jack Harris and myself through Atlanta, through Georgia. It was a selling promotional tour uh, for the film. It seemed to be, oh, there are people who handle being a producer well. It sits on their shoulders well. It's just, oh, yes, he's a producer. I mean, you just, you, you just know. Well, Jack was that way. He just had that mantle that fit. And it's just, I just, I thought he was a really nice man and uh, uh, showed, showed a bit that, well, I'm the producer, but not in a bad way. I mean, it was a nice, you know, it was, it was sweet. It was, it was lovely. I, I thought it was nice. Oh, well, Patty Duke. Hi, Scott. I think you better go on back upstairs and go to bed. I'm going to drink a fruit beer. You had two glasses at supper time. You know what happens to you when you drink too much. I accused her of lying about her age. <laughs> not then, years later. I said, I know, you were 15. You can't fool me. <laughs> Are you hungry? Sometimes my mother feeds hobos. Now go home, Marjorie. They were, they were all really, they were gentle people, gentlemen, um, eager to do a good job. They wanted, all of them were professional actors and professional, uh, or, or people who were new in the business, but wanted to be professional. You know, they wanted to do the best work they could. And that was wonderful. It was a marvelous learning process for me as well. I was so lucky with all of the people that I've worked with. They were all of them nice people. I have, knock wood, <laughs> uh, not uh, had a, a horrible experience yet. I, I, there I've opened my mouth hubrously, hubris. Mm -mm. Um, I had a wonderful, wonderful good fortune.
with all of the people that I've, I've worked with.